Welcome everyone, it's episode 107. This week we're really pleased to announce that we're sponsored by Leek and Potato Productions. They are a video production company. We are discussing Chelsea and how actually they're quite good, isn't they? Um, Newcastle Dreams. It's actually, it's Memories, Dreams and Reflections. Sorry, Memories, Dreams and Reflections. Then we are going to reopen the doors, the illustrious doors of Kind Club. Club. Kind Club. Oh, and there's a few other things as well. What? Yeah, it's just some of the stuff which I've been thinking about. It's all good though. Anyway, that's it. Music. Bull boy shoes is what you need. Get the power on your feet. Memories, dreams, and reflections. We speak about the dream, the iconic dream that every every young lad has to play for their club. Kissing the badge and pretending football's not all business and people trafficking, working class hero stuff, okay. come from nothing. Icon, like icon, St James's Park. I'm talking about specifically here. Two brothers grow up in the district, in the area. Yeah. Dream of the like they're religious for. Alan Shearer, they're religious <laughs> for Newcastle United. Barry Venison, all the name. Philippe Albert, all the Pavel Cernicek, Fastino Asprilla. Dream about it when you're playing with one of those plastic footballers, with yeah. the footballs which, which yeah. curl. Okay. Everything. You're playing with your brother. Visualise you've got a brother. <laughs> He's a bit older than you. Okay. Visualise it. I'm visualising it. I've got it in brother. my head. You play football all the time. Yeah. Dreaming of that one shot you can get. Yeah. To absolutely, to it's ginormous. You destroy it Man United at home with St James's by a goal that you score. Yeah. No one expects you. Your brother's there. Your family there. You dreamed about it. Long staff visualized it. Yeah, it's I amazing. think this is a it's a fantastic story. One which isn't spoken about a lot. Not enough has been said about what it means and what Newcastle did. It's all been oh my god, how did Man United lose that game? When he should be praising how well Newcastle have have done. He says. I dreamt about it late last night. This is kind of how it went. How pure is that? Well, Steve Bruce had Alex Bruce, didn't he? And that must have been a bit of a train wreck to organise. Uh, Where's your reflections This is here? memories, dreams and reflections. My reflections are the fact that it is like an iconic thing for like, for, for ah, that. So I thought he's he made did. memories which will last longer and he's gone down in, in, in Newcastle United folklore. No, oh, it's a reflective thing. No. So that's... The memories, dreams, we don't and reflect reflections. Enough. There's memories, there were dreams, and there were reflections. Oh, well. Think about it. If you're playing with Alex Bruce, you'd be pissed off if you're getting picked and you're just the boss's son. I'd be livid. Oh, well. Those five players were, but he gave him a list of five players. Oh, one of them was Paul Pogba. What's she, what, what's, um, what, what's no, no, sorry. One of them was Lukaku, not Pogba. One of them was Lukaku. We know he asked for them to sign Lukaku for him. All right, go on. And four other players. And they didn't back him. If Man United had backed Jose Mourinho fully in that first summer window and given him the five players and went, there you go, that someone was arguing on Twitter, like, we could be back to challenging for the league. We finished second the next season. We finished second. We didn't, he didn't have the players what, he wanted. What were the players that he wanted? No one knows who the other four are. There's rumours. He just got Pogba and that's it. Uh, Lukaku. So He's the second Lukaku. season. We won the Europa League with Pogba in our team already. We won the Europa League and we won the League Cup. Mm. And Zlatan was in the side. The second summer, United said we do not have enough money to buy five players. Because we bought three for you last summer. But we'll buy one of them. Which one would you prefer? And he was like, no, I need all five and I'll win the league. Mm. And they went, well, you can only afford one. Oh, well. The international break is upon us. Make me excited about it. So this, this, uh, or next summer, when it's so the So you're Euros, the end product, you don't want to see what it's saying to get to the end product. No, it just, it, it gets in the way of football. 
directly to the summary, to the conclusion. I love the tournament. The build up sort of the end product. Gets in the it gets in the way. However, it's here, so let's try and get excited about it, okay? I don't get excited about these fixtures in the same way that I used to get excited about them when Coleman was in charge. Cookie. Yeah, and when uh, and when before him, when Gary Speed was in charge, there was a definite feel of in Welsh football was on the rise. Well, it feels like it's plateaued even, under Giggs. Even with Giggs's charisma. <laughs> well, um, Ryan Giggs is, is lust is, for life. Ryan Giggs is one of the most emotionless managers. Would you prefer to chat to <laughs> but, Giggs you know, or Michael Owen for an hour? Oh my god, probably Giggs. Or both of them. I think he's a little bit sad. I think he's got sad eyes. He has got sad eyes. He and did. he's got a sad face. He and I want to know what's making him sad. Uh, Tom Lawrence being included in the squad. You know my feelings about this. This sets an extreme... It, it's worth noting. This sets an extremely dangerous precedent that Wales have set here. That boy did an ex ridiculously stupid and reckless thing. And he he needs to have punishment for that. So Derby starting him the next game. And now Wales including him in the squad. To. It's like, hang on a minute, you've he, this boy has had no serious commitment yet for what he's done. He, he will be trapped. Yeah, but the, the, they should be dropping him. They should be it. They should drop him. Both of them. Tom Lawrence should not be in this Wales squad. I don't care. They should does it prove how desperate Wales are? Yes, it players. does. And that's a sad state of affairs after the joy of the Euros. Let's move on quickly. Okay, let's, go, let's, let's, let's move, move on Wales quickly. need something, something. They, they, do, need. they do need something, something. And it's not Tom Lawrence. In England. However, three interesting things from this squad and these fixtures. Tammy Abraham coming out today and saying that there is an agreement in place they will across off. the whole squad yep. that if any one of them gets racially abused, the whole squad will leave the pitch. That's what he's come out on record and said. Yep. The quote is, if it happens to one of us, then it happens to all of us. Good, good quote. And, you know, I'm glad that he got to stay there for a second season, the first season. There is another nation that I've now uh, forgotten. Yeah. Is it Cameroon or something? I can't remember. I won't they, guess. I won't, <laughs> no, I won't guess. I think that neatly sums up why we should pay an interest to these these fixtures that we've got. Going, yes, your fantasy football teams are put on hold. Yes, you won't be able to complain about your club being rubbish the next day because you haven't seen your club play. Yes, they get in the way of it. But the internationals are here. We can't do anything about it. We might as well enjoy them. Oh, <laughs> well. Hey, they said it's offside hit my I didn't. I did it twice, hit me, bobbed up, that's why Dan Foster. Right, remember at the start of the season, uh, Manchester United beat Chelsea 4-0. Mm -hmm. Now, after that, I think a lot of the media and a lot of, especially social media, you saw a lot of people almost think, right, Chelsea have got... Slagging them off. Yeah, because Chelsea have got a, a new manager who everyone sort of went, they hired him too soon. He no, needed... I think it was the opposite. I thought, yeah, he's British. Best of British. Yeah, there, well, there He's was that element us. as well, but there was a lot of, oh, they probably hide. So in an idea, with the rise of, um, in the Premier League at least, Tammy Abraham and uh, Tamori at the back and Mason Mount and these players making such an impact at Chelsea and he's giving young, homegrown, British talent. Do you like that? It's, no, well, the media will love it. They will laugh at it. Yeah, Chelsea yeah. never used their homegrown players. They were always laughed at for their loan, you know, system. Like, if you're a young player, you're not going to get a chance at Chelsea. Lampard's come in and made it so if you're a young player at Chelsea and you're good enough, you will get a chance in the first team. Tammy took his shot. He didn't throw it away. Lampard is giving young English or young talent at Chelsea a chance sure. I'm going to put it out there that maybe like one Chelsea are better than I thought they would be and you're going to two, keep that yeah you're not going to slag them off I'm going to keep as, the as it stands well unless they get awful if they get awful I'll say they're from? awful um, it's not constructive be constructive don't in the Chelsea don't care Abramovich don't care He's Abramovich listening. is he yeah is he one of them yeah I've gone about var this var that I've got a little bit of listener feedback. I love listener feedback. Yeah, Tell me yeah. what listener feedback so, is. Okay. We posed the question. Yeah, okay. So put it out on the socials. Yeah. On the socials. We've got the socials Hello, again. Uh, so. At Attach Line Rant everywhere. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Mm. At Attach Line Rant. Follow us, like. We posed the question. Yeah, what did we pose? People don't have ideas. 
Okay. Ideas have people. And the feedback, the feedback was we didn't get any responses or any feedback from it. That was it. So the, qu the question was, people don't have ideas, ideas have people. And we had no feedback. I think people Are were... you bringing no feedback to the feedback section? I think that maybe people are still pondering that question. Not even Rebecca Vardy. If that. you're not the hero, you're a bit part player in someone else's story. I think that's where people were navigating towards. So that was the f almost feedback for this week. Did Colleen No, really? no one. No one. Huh. That's, that's listener feedback. <laughs> the feedback is we haven't got any <laughs> The feedback is there is none. I'm Sydney and welcome to my Kind Corner. It is time to open up those gigantic doors to Kind Club in, kind in club. football. And Kind Acts. Sponsored and... by Death. So this is Kind Club. Welcome to Kind Club. Everything's good. Everything's happy. Everything it is. is wonderful. Okay. So the first one, I think a little shout out should go to Right to Play and Liverpool. Liverpool and Right to Play. They've teamed up to launch a global partnership uh, for vulnerable children around the world with tools and skills they need to overcome the impact of poverty, conflict and diseases. Does that come right off the top of your head? Yeah, yeah, just boom. Gambling, right? I don't no, to, you don't. I don't have to tell you... Like, what, how is a mugs game? Yeah, yeah no, 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 like a bit, a bit further. Of gambling, if we don't th take these things seriously, it will affect our sport. Without that integrity, then it will wreck it for us. Any sort of match fixing, any sort of, like these are fundamental, massive things, match fixing, influencing games, betting through friends and family. The sport is in Where's jeopardy. Where's the kind? The sport Give me is the in kind. Je I'm gonna say a barber's, with a difference. The launch of Bet Regret Barbershop to bring a safer gambling campaign into the heart of the communities. And so you come in about issues. and you talk about issues. Oh, okay. Because it doesn't get talked about Okay, fine, so it's an issues best, yeah. I get it. And it's using it in a very, um, Unique way, creative way, open up a discussion. All good. Yeah. Have we got anything like else that? to go into Kind Club? I think that I think you've had your fill. I can't. Well, your anger basically tells the whole story, doesn't it? I got this killer theory about um, Mendy, the Mendy situation. All right, let's do an outro and then we'll go down that rabbit hole. Yeah, yeah. And if I'm not on ATR, I'm listening to ATR, so I'm a bit Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Thanks. It's time to say goodbye again for a week. Thank you very much for listening to this. Uh, thank you very much to Leek and Potato Productions again. Thank you very much to you lot for for tuning in. Shout out CSK. Mitchell Gad. Ah, uh, CSK, she just gives a bell. Our beautiful shirts at CSK Sapphire Gardens. We're sponsoring them this season. Uh, our beautiful shirts that we have, they're on sale now. DM us, DM us, at Attachline Rant. They are beautiful shirts, mm. £25 each, with all profit made from each sale going to the wallet. And thank you, CSK Sapphire Garden. Thank you, CSK Sapphire Garden. And the Lazarou League. And the Lazarou League. Thank you very much. I did a half marathon, completed it. Shout out Big Moose. Big Moose. Moose, Moose, Moose. Uh, thank you. Thanks very much. Bye. See you next week.